Hello, hello? Friday bananas, hello. Hi guys, hello. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Oh, you can you can hear me? Okay, I was just testing because like it it was weird. It said I was live, but I was not live. I, I don't know what was going on. Hello, hello, Michaela. Hello, Lost is late. Benno, how's everybody doing today? Drinking a little bit of water. You guys that watched the live stream, how would you rate it from 0 to 10? Was it better than the last one? You're chilling on this wonderful Friday, let's go. I also want to chill today. <laughs> microphone is weird okay maybe here it's fine microphone is in a weird position hello Alex how are you doing welcome in hope everybody is doing well today okay lost enjoy your dinner you're going for something to eat after live stream what are you gonna eat do you have any idea? Oh, you have watched it? How did you find it, Mikaela? Did you like it? How's the delay? I think it's... N There's no delay today. There's no delay. I think it's fine. I could not even like wear makeup on my eyes because like I had an allergy. Delay's probably bad. I don't think so. Your dance showcase. Do you dance, Alex? That's pretty cool. It was good. Nice. Oh, my eyes is like itchy as hell. I'm having like allergies on my eyes. <laughs> so they're like. So freaking easy. You still don't know? That's why you hope it will be in time for the Twitch stream? Yeah, there's usually a delay on YouTube. It's probably like my settings that are like too high, I don't know. Hey Sinisha, how are you doing? Welcome in. On my eye. <laughs> so itchy. Are you guys excited for our Lakino? You guys excited to get her? Should probably change the chat to this side because, like, it's where I'm reading. I mean, this. <laughs> this side. Because it's basically where I'm looking at, and the chat is like on the opposite direction. So it probably would make some more sense if I put it here. I did say hey, yes. Say hi at this comment to set uh to check the delay. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. Music is great. Very excited, but you don't think you'll get her? With a lot of faith and trust, you are going to get her. Because you got 
a late guarantee, so maybe you have an early guarantee. I'm good. I'm just like having an allergy allergic reaction on my eye. So I can't wear eye makeup right now. It's very itchy. Hello, Sabri, how are you doing? Probably like some makeup that I used the other days, like, did not react that well. Hello, Luthien, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Make sure to like this stream. You're excited for Arlequino. I wonder how she will be as a character. I'm not gonna get her because I already have Lini, so. Persist to rub it? Listen, it's itchy, okay? What can I do? <laughs> Whenever my eye, I have an allergy on my eye, I just want to eat it, like, I'm just scratch it so much. Hello, Maria, how are you doing? Oh, it's both eyes that are itchy. <laughs> Hey, welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Exactly, drink some water. I have like a huge bottle of water. Look at how big this water bottle is. It's like bigger than my head. <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, oh yeah, the mosquito bit my eye. Oh God, that was terrible. It was live even. Rub ice cube around it? Uh, I I don't think I will put eyes on my eyes. <laughs> I would be too annoyed with the eye, well, like with the cold to do that. <sighs> oh God, that's a big water bottle, right? Like it's huge. <laughs> it's like two liters of water. But it's good, because like it's the water for the entire day just here. That's how I remember to drink water. The <laughs> mosquito died live on stream. He sure did. Oh, my... My outfit is like going all crazy and wonky. Hold on. Is this a flare-up or inflammation? I think I will probably take like a... Allergy medicine and see like how it goes. Yeah, water is so good, right? Water is very underrated. A lot of people don't like water because there's no taste. But water is great. If you're not drinking water, make sure to. Make sure to drink water. How many liters? I think 1.5 to 2 liters. Hello, Kian. How are you doing? Osmentas Friday for you. Osmentas wine tastes the same as I remember. Where are, where are those who share the memories? Just <laughs> start talking about water for hours like Nubilet. I don't even leave him as the character idol on my screen because he just talks about water so much. So much. Like, Bro needs to stop. You're going to save up for father? Let's go. Hope everybody that is going to pull for our Lekino will get our Lekino. <laughs> no, sorry about you. I love water too. <laughs> 8 a.m. <laughs> God, my eye is so freaking itchy. Water from Liwe tastes da da da. Water from Inazuma taste, da -na -na. Water from Sumeru taste, da -na -na. Water from Mondstadt taste, da -na -na. Then they need to add the line Water from Natlin taste, uh, da -na -na. Water from Kenria taste, da -na -na. They really have to do that to make it, you know, fair. I'm gonna add a line. Oh dear. My eye. Oh, 
dear. It's getting blurry. <laughs> My eye is getting blurry. Help. Let's listen to some music and then... <laughs> water from Latan. <laughs> the water from Latan is, uh, is something else. Sometimes the water is like... Dirty and brown. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Water from Brazil tastes different. All right, let me set up everything. You? I mean, that's true. Water sometimes in Brazil is just like they treat the water, but like the water comes out like brown. <laughs> water from the constant rings from Brazil tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> water with Geo. But where are those who share the memory? <laughs> What is it? Oh, that was a low clean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought I muted it. <laughs> it's not, it's not like, it's just the color. Okay. It's not like it's a dirty water or anything. It's just like, it's just sand, I guess, mud. <laughs> um. My favorite character is Wonder and Shao. So it's two. Two characters. Let me start setting everything up. Your favorite character is A. Uh, is A. Next is Clorinde, and I'll hate it. Where is Chevrolet? In the list. You're betraying Chevrolet? Hard water? It's not hard water. It's just... It's just yellow because of the mud. It's normal, guys. Chevrolet is after all hating. I mean, good taste. Let's see. Oh, the live stream is only 39 minutes? Just 39. Your favorite character is A and Father? I think my favorite female character is Navia. Navia. But I didn't get her. I lost my 50-50. Oh, is the actual name you think? Brown because high mineral? Oh, that makes sense. Honorable mention for Clorin's button. Navi is my wife, exactly. Navi is definitely like my favorite female character. I thought I was not gonna like her, but I do like her a lot. All right, let's switch over to the live stream and it starts the watching. Mm, let me fix my camera. Now you guys can see me properly. Looks like a filler patch, but it's not. Let's hope it's not. I'm tired of filler patches.
We had enough filler patches, didn't we? Yahoo! Fire! It makes sense that 4.5 was dry because it was a geo patch. And geo is rock. And rock is dry. Right? It does not really like, you know, has any hydro reactions. So, makes sense. <laughs> right? There's Chibi Arlecchino. Let's go. Let's watch it. Are you guys ready? I am in my Sino era. I need... <laughs> not the tomatoes. <laughs> not the tomatoes. That's not allowed in here. Uh, anyway, I will get Sino in his next rerun for sure. He had like three reruns already, right? I'll get him next. Trust. All right. Ready? It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Oh. What's going on? Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king Remus oh, would bring Lord. eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But Ooh. today... I don't think I ever heard her voice before. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! What was that? Let's take a look at the trailer. Oh, cool. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that. And the feeling is mutual. You're making the kids After fight for all, food. It's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, oh, Sino. I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. What is Sino That's doing here? With my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of... Is it of child? Project Stuja? Talking. Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. <laughs> Interesting trailer. <laughs> El Bromas. Transfixed. The music is going crazy. Everlasting at the moon. An order once given cannot be Ooh, received. Ooh, that. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Who if was that? Finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom oh. of the right of duels. Who was that? The next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. 
I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words Damn, the kids are fighting the, the father. <laughs> Allow me to remind you, Helen. Few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. What the heck? Make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. Is it gonna be like a story quest? And I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Hey, what Sino was doing there, though? And who was that guy that was, like, about to fight him? Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler, Lumine. Oh, look welcome at Ito. Genshin Impact version 4.6 special He's program. He's back. Yay, welcome, everyone. Yay. Welcome. What is Ito doing there? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. Yes. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Avet. I'm Ooh. the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Heart. Arlequino got a nice also voice. Recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Heart. Yes, he is. Compadre. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice <laughs> of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. Vibes for this. <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. Let's go. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive I an mean. education in a variety of disciplines. The House of Heart is a Hunger Games, at the same basically. Time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine oh. Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing I didn't play, I didn't play. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? That was spoiled! get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. Okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict Mute father. the video. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, is the Hunger Games. tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? <laughs> and Arlequino's presence, no. That's sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this <laughs> way? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, I mean... Okay, well, now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep Arlequino's secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? 
Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? You'll volunteer us to review? I that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, what if you it? use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, oh. then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters Thank or goodness. quest locations being allocated to other quests. I can't finish so Nahida's quest because of this. Will help travelers have a better story experience, <laughs> cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. Why is she glitching? So like what you see. Transfixed. I did. I did have to leave Sucrose waiting for a long time. Yeah. This is where. Is there gonna be any story quest in four point six? Oh, story quest awesome. for everybody. Awesome. <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. Wait, wait, wait. Let me I pause. Know, right? I I notice all the elegant characters in the game. I don't like. Except John Lee. <laughs> I I like like I don't really vibe with the elegant characters for some reason. I like the goofy, funny characters. Yes. Except right, for well, Novelette. If we're going to talk about Arlequino's hey, yes, mean, abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life There's is? There's no interlude uh, this time? Are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that you No, not the design, but like so elegant personality. HP until the bond of life value has mm -hmm. been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when design school <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 know, it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so it, it, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of <laughs> My mom just left the door the open and it was like, what? That she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So... Seeing this, you don't regret the pulling the bond well, of life in his weapon in 4 Arlequino's elemental burst will reset What does this have to do with anything that is happening on the screen right now? Based on her attack and her current bond of life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Also, Thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Whoa, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. 
Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even you are has saving a special for kind of movement whenever she uses her charge attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. If you were saving, yeah. you wouldn't have <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, let's yeah. do it. That was well, let's see. Right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, Linny. and Linny will both enjoy a That's a good boost. weapon banner. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. For also, Xiao? the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Oh Goodbye, gosh, Wonder so Weapon. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Goodbye. Damon, do you have any other news you'd like no to share? No Wonder <gasps> Weapon Actually, for me. I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. <laughs> Get the oh, done yes. in my child. Right. Right. Yeah, no. We were just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. The Donuts claims <laughs> another? Right. No, no, no. Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Ready. I am ready! I'm so ready! Phase 2 is not bad. It's Wonder. Wonder is great. You don't have Baiju? You can get him now. Hello, Samir. How are you doing? Oh, I prefer this outfit over her normal outfit, honestly. This one looks way better. Oh, the music is great. Wow. Not even Linny and Fremenay have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, oh, Alini! It seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That sucks. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Mm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? I <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey. While if she, she keeps dodging, how am I gonna use my leaning? <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunter. Or my wonder. <laughs> So, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction Or my Nuvillet. Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. The five seconds yeah. you didn't... Uh, as long as travelers are adventuring uh, 40 her. or higher, they'll be able to challenge uh, her directly the by going on to the adventurer handbook, going to the domains tab, selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. Wow. It's on YouTube cool. already. It's a yeah. Just nice a fontaine, little not. shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version oh. 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. 
Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. What cool. do they do? Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for Ooh, some reason, Sino. Sino's got mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? It, this picture is right there. <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. Oh. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections Ooh, to the cute. mystery will make his debut during the case. He's so mm. cute! And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. We gotta do so, this quest. Yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, there's a new sure cute to check boy out in the Sino's game. Second story quest: Lupus Arius Act Two. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait, what are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too He's quickly. a four star? Can we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of it? Please. Where did they say please. that? Please. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> My dog is opening and closing the door. So, okay. First code. You guys get it? Did you guys get it, the code? I don't know if he's gonna... I mean, if it's people speculating, it's not, like, true information, so I will wait to see if it is, like, true information or not. They will probably drip market him in the next... Hey, maybe. welcome back, everyone. So, hey. we've already told you the story of Arlequino and the House of the Heart. Oh, so new area. Why Let's don't go. we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. Yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Nice. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> it's not anyway. showing on the... <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization a talking that cat. vanished thousands of years ago. <gasps> Oh my gosh, uh, that's amazing! Anything for Wait. talking cat. <laughs> I think it's now there. As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I, I hey, actually, I don't you're get it. so not getting it. Get. That's okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. Thank so you, Ben. We'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. Oh, that's so the cute! The remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet Little a dragon cat. in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> so you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remoria. You'll be Ooh, able to pause the melody nice. within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. 
Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess. Oh, new boss. Castle. Oh, that Silo looks cool. The immortality and glory of a great civilization. Looks like a cool it boss. It's a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh, too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> Is that our like Kino's boss? Real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Arkham oh. Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, oh, will no, automatically <laughs> unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Oh, Hopefully that's so this cool. this helps travelers with exploring the new it's area. Just our boss. I heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll? What? Yeah! <laughs> all right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Whoa, take this a was a today's quick... second redemption code. Yeah. That was a quick all section. Right. Huh. Let's just skip the code. There we go. Welcome back, Ito. everyone! Hey. Okay. Look at how cool Ito! Oh my god, a free Goro! Is coming to Inazuma, and C5 the Goro. Is none other than Arataki Ito C5 himself. Goro for me. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So, I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um. Of course! He participated in last year's Lantern Rite. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was right? not playing. That's right. yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yan performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he Iridescent says... Iridescent Arataki Rocking for Life Arataki Tour, the Force of Awesomeness. Tour, the Force of Awesomeness. <laughs> really up feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> and what? the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically... It's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope true, the yeah. Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. Nice. What? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. It'll be, and here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument oh. to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. So if you enjoy Ooh. playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. Oh, the I like this one. Some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. I like wow, the rhythm games. These game. really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rockin' music festival without a rockin' venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> we have the Meeting of Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, oh I am so we'll not good with that. Sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes. That's <laughs> the point. guitar hero. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold Ooh. up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say? Wind Trace, Seekers and oh. Strategy has finally arrived. What? Yes! Okay. Wind Trace is back. I love Wind Trace. Hey, Bacon. And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name I've never experienced that Wind Trace. Some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. 
Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> Ooh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have oh six my God. signaling devices, <laughs> which will prevent nearby rebels it's from Metal Gear. or concealing themselves. The rebel's goal is, is to repair these devices Gear. while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels Mexican from is not a language, Yasmin. They can simply it's a Spanish. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling yeah, device, we need to play the this on stream. Repaired will enter the high speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the device is <laughs> Metal Genshin location. Solid. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And <laughs> You're fluent in, in American. Event, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. What do you Aww. mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. That's so random. Huh? Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision. What? And a jade plume terror shroom. And the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? Mm -hmm. You guys heard me the <laughs> first time. I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes oh. sense. Mm -hmm. Is he from Natlon? Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce wow. the game club. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Nice. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both not only the geo traveler and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So yeah, so you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. The Play team that they're wow, using right now is crazy. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event. Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, nice. It seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Thank you. That means that so is much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Amazing. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics oh, there's trial for characters. each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Nice. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them. Oh, for that's a good team. Nice. This one is actually good. Also, the With genius Zong Zong invocation Lee. TCG event, Ooh, the Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. For Hazel. The heated yes. battle mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, nice. so you can more easily train up the. I always forget to do this. The extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so 
many events in one go. The popular I game TCG. Like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I yes, you agree. I was well, gonna say I, I agree too. So, so how about now? Let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Let us skip. Skipity skip. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Next oh. up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. Ooh. First ah. up, we have some Ooh. updates for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Nice. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft have your a good desired night. piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. Oh, that's okay. Convenient. Nice. So convenient. The avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends oh, as your that's profile cute. display. Oh, oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's Arama you and bet. the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have nice. also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. Ooh. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. That is way, way better. Way more intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone Hi, over Michaela. some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go, music! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. <laughs> you need to explore more. Yay! Music is my Let's favorite. wait the update, and then we oh, explore. No, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. I love this picture oh, of Ito. I know, I know. Yes. So. I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, it's not so. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Vin answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else. Where to is see the cool Dane's she Leaf? Yeah. She's so oh, cool. So Mission though. So freaking cool, and I love the whole quest. There's and no Dane's Leaf secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things. Mm. And that's all I'm gonna say. Right <laughs> he now, guys. took off his hat. Yeah, it's so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So, oh, oh um, my gosh, that's, gonna that's be fun. amazing. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, yes I am. Yeah. Yay. Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad I got to be here with you. There's a beetle on Ito. It's a great time. <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Yay. Bye. 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 See you later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Love you. And it's done. Live stream is oh shit. <laughs> the screen went all over the place. Live stream done. What did you guys think of this live stream? Did you guys like it? It was fun. It was a fun live stream this time. Uh, I'm sleepy. <sighs> yeah, no Dane's Leaf. That kind of sucks, though. I wish like they had the Dane's Leaf quest because I think they're late, right? You give the 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I feel like it's missing the Dane's Leaf quest. 
But it was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Será un bonito, un evento bonito. <laughs> bonito. Yeah, that was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was nice watching with you guys here live. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah. I am probably not going to pull for Arlequino because I do have a bunch of pyro characters already and I don't think I need it. I might pull her weapon for Xiao though because I am close to Pity. And there's like Lini's weapon and I have Lini. So either way, it would be a win in the banner. So I might just do like a couple of pulls on the weapon banner. Yeah, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, I will go now. I'm going to go have lunch. And I'll let you guys know on Discord if I am going to stream on Twitch or not. I do have to edit some videos. So I will see what I do right now. But it was a nice chill stream. Thank you for everybody that participated today. And I hope to see you all guys when I upload the first part of Fontaine on YouTube next week. And more Skyrim on Monday. And another video tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I will do viewer pose, yes. I will go eat now. Uh, enjoy your food, Beno. And I'll see you guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Oh, where's the ending? <laughs>